What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, today we're doing a stipulation by Oral. The stip says, draft things to celebrate your return. Enter the battlefield effects, Sultai or Flicker or whatever. Welcome back. So we're going to try to go with those first three, ETB effects, Sultai or Flicker. Because drafting whatever kind of, it feels like it's outside of the spirit of the stip. And that was a great, greatly timed... Uh, jump in the queue. So we're going to, I think it's Emrakul. So Emrakul is a card that has a hell of an ETB effect. Um, nothing flickery here, but through the breach could come back. We could also get a channel. Does channel, channel lets us play things like Ulamog and Emrakul, both of which who have sick ETB effects that you really want to play. Golos has an ETB effect, but I think Emrakul's is just better. Plus, Emrakul is a much better card to, like, build around. Look at these lands. These are gorgeous lands. We got Sultai, and we have Teemer. Fascinating. Also, Inferno Titan has a hell of a Enter the Battlefield ability. Plus, we can flicker Inferno Titan. I'm going to take Inferno Titan because I think it's just going to go better if we're trying to through the Breach or Sneak Attack. Nothing great here, unfortunately. Don't you talk mess about my sweet baby boy Golos. <laughs> Is talk mess a thing people say? I've never heard anyone say that. You sound like a crazy person. Shut um, up and take my money. Oh, somebody's money. Mr. Tasty with 20 bones. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Honestly, let me tell you something. If you guys want to sign up for HelloFresh, you can use the code above. You get 21 free meals. My first order for six meals was 30 bucks. And if you want to do that with a donation, it might be better for me because of the sponsorship through HelloFresh. Um, let's take Niv-Mizzet Reborn and let's build this Niv-Mizzet deck. How about that? Is that cool? I don't know. Kind of. Stoneforge. I'm going to take it because I think it's the best card in here. And it could lead to some cool stuff. And it's kind of like the ETB Master. Demonic Tutor. Of course, we the next pack literally has no, no multicolor cards whatsoever. I'm not black. I'm going to put you over here. I think you're a cool card to build around. You have a great ETB effect. Breeding Pool. Breeding Pool would be the pick if we're playing niv -Mizzet. I'm reluctant that that's the case. I think I might just want Kiki-Jiki. Because let's talk about the ETB effects of Deceiver Exarch and Pestermite. You like those? Coalition Relic is kind of nice. And Dotha Triumph was Abzan, right? Yeah, okay. Our kind of cruelty is great if we're reanimating or if we're... This is another great <laughs> ETB effect. Um, fascinating. So right now, I'm going to take the Black Cleave Cliffs and assume we're red-black. Underground Sea, huh? Underground Sea is a beaut. Yeah, I'm going to take Underground Sea because, again, we want to play Pestermite and the other gentlemen if we get them. Uh, I don't hate Phantasmal Image. Let's talk about the legal knowledge of Kika McJiga Maternity at Law. You can't quantify the legal knowledge. I mean, Phantasmal Image actually seems great for Inferno Titan or Archon of Cruelty. I don't know what this deck is going to do, but we got some, some sweet daddies here so far. Ashen Rider has a pretty sweet under the battlefield ability. Uh, I don't think it's Inkwell Leviathan. I think we just take the Ashen Rider and Sun Titan. This is interesting. I 
I mean, this pack is full of like five and six drops, so whatever. Eh, Chupacabra is kind of fine. Man, Oral asked me to do the stipulation. He's in the chat, but he hasn't said anything, so I'm pretty sure he just fell asleep listening to my beautiful dulcet tones. Mystical Tutor is nice if we get like a Through the Breach. It's I'm going to take the Damnation, though. It might just be nice to have a Damnation. Plains, Swamp, Forest, whatever. Eh, Bolus is Citadel. Eh, okay. Well... I don't want to end up Jund again. <laughs> I kind of just like... Let's, well, we'll see. We'll see what we get. Mana Crypt. That can help us cast our Emrakul, right? Pro probably not, right? Oh, I actually think my... I think the camera's in the wrong position. Isn't that funny? Yeah, it's supposed to be like this. Yeah. Also, Consecrated Sphinx is just great. God, do I pass a Consecrated Sphinx? I think I do. It's a Mana Crypt, right? Let's, let's be serious. So you're not too far over, right? Should I be... We should go this way. Yeah, that's better, right? Like that? Maybe one more. This way? Yeah, that's the ticket. Son of a biscuit. One, two, three. Okay. Lava Claw reaches. <laughs> Wish Claw Talisman enters the battlefield. He's right. He's right. Oh, what up, Toxic Ice Cream Matthew? <laughs> wow, that is a that's a fantastic name. Uh, yeah, Matt. I I, I figured Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to take Lava Claw Reaches here. And... I mean... It, honestly, like, it could just be Basalt Monolith here. It adds two more mana than Rakdos Signet. But, like... Rakdos Signet's the exact Signet we want, though. I'm going to take the Rakdos Signet. Let's not be foolish. Uh, Grief, enter the battlefield. Let's do it. Enter the battlefield, Grief. I do like Massacre Worm, but that dude, that dude was a little bitch last draft, so. We could also take Show and Tell and put this Emrakul into play. <laughs> this is the ice cream toxic, or are you made of ice cream and you're toxic? These are, these are the hard-hitting questions. Christian's asking here. I'm going to take the... Oh, is it Grief? Is it Show and Tell? Show and Tell Emrakul is pretty good. It's not. They're just going to have like Oblivion Ring or some bullshit. Grief is pretty... Grief is good. Yeah, that's what Gordon Greco said. Grief is good. <laughs> so we have a Yorion here, which is a Flickery Boy. But we also have an Ulmog for the Through the Breach slash channel that we're waiting to pick up, you know? There's also a Tinker, but we only have two artifacts so far and nothing to really get. <laughs> Grief is cool. <laughs> eight of eight quotes. Yeah, I think they deleted all the quotes. That's sad. I mean, this is a cast trigger, but it feels like an Enter the Battlefield trigger. And then Yorion. Eh, we'll just take the Ulmog. Ooh. I mean, this is probably the best card in the pack for us, right? Also, we're barely playing this guy as of right now. 
Like, I'd almost rather have Ancestral Vision here. Sower has an ETB, but I don't think I want something double blue. But then, like, I think Ancestral is probably better than Sower. I don't think it's Shriek Maw. We already have Chupacabra. Eh, I'm going to take this for now. We'll see if that... Oh, is it Signet? Okay. That keeps us... I also love Suspicious Stowaway, especially as a discard outlet for like Archon or Scarab God or Inferno Titan. But we have nothing to get it back yet. So we're, I think we're just like some kind of Grix. <gasps> wow, really? <sighs> Okie dokie. Wow, that's a, that's something. Could actually have a Mesmeric Fiend. You're a discard outlet. Touche. Touche. We'll take Mesmeric Fiend due to its Enter the Battlefield ability. Basalt Monolith comes back. Still Seraph. Might be fine here. Actually, I kind of like the way this deck is looking now. Except for Kiki Jiki. Wow, Yorion and Sundering Titan came back. Yorion, Blinking Grief, Ravenous. Oh, yeah, we're definitely taking the Yorion here. I'll just take Tendrils and make some Storm player sad. Because, they, you know, you deserve it, you know. Yeah, sure. All right, we have one more pack. All right, all right. Let's see what see what the see what the man brings. Cryptic command. That's beautiful. Beautiful, gorgeous. So we got a little flicker and a little ETB here. Um, what's our means of casting these guys currently? It looks like we're heavier blue black. And our fixing is not great. We have black leaf cliffs. This doesn't do anything. Lava claw and underground so far. So I'm high on fixing. Chrome mocks might be decent. I don't think we need a hallbreaker horror. Fatal push could be decent as well. Yorian is a discard outlet. Yorian a discard outlet. Yorian, I don't get it. <laughs> I think you, I don't get it. I don't get it. I think it's just Chrome Mox, to be honest. I hate it. Makes me feel bad, but. Eh. Eh. I do, however, like Worn Power Stone. Going land, Mana Crib, Worn, Power Stone gives us one, two, three, four, six mana on turn two. I agree. I agree, Mr. Tasty. I agree with your tasty opinions. I think it's Worn, Power Stone. I think it's better than Force of Negation here. Timeless Lotus is very cool, but I think casting our spells is kind of a priority. This is a third pick Mox Emerald? Jesus, I kind of want the creeping tar pit over it. Oh, God. Still be the fucking game. Man, what do I have to. What do I. What do I. Which one is it? Creeping tar pit seems much better for our mana base. I think it's creeping tar pit. I think someone else is going to get that stupid mox. I, I'd much rather be able to cast my spells, and I think Creeping Tarpet helps me do that. Steam Vents is a gorgeous pickup here. Take it now! I did not. I did not take it. And I think it was correct. Um, Shallow Grave. Um... 
Dig through time seems terrible for us. We have literally nothing that's going to go into the graveyard easily. I think it's shallow grave. Like, if we have an easy discard outlet, we can just discard, play Emrakul or Ulamog. Kolagon's command is nice, but Charter Course into Shallow Grave might be the ticket. That actually seems good. Uh, no, I haven't written anything. <laughs> uh, yeah, late channel again. That's kind of kind of funny. Um, Kolagon's command is also a discard, actually, though. So this is still a combo. And I kind of like having the versatility of Kolagon's command. So I'm going to take that. Animate dead. We can get Archon, Inferno, Consecrated, and this Ulmog. Actually, Animate Dead seems great for us. Thirst for Discovery actually seems pretty good. Pretty good. All right, we're, we're getting somewhere. Fatal Push? I'll just take a basic Fatal Push. It also might just be Hallbreaker Horror. That guy's kind of a beast. But I feel like we have a lot of fat daddies. I'll just take Dire Fleet Daredevil. Makeshift Mannequin, huh? Is it you? Are you the play? Getting an Archon back? What is our discard outlets right now? Like none, right? Thirst and Colagon's Command? Uh, it's not Worm Coil. Yeah, whatever. Putrid Imp is a discard outlet. Okay. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. I might even... Might even play that guy. Wow. Oh my god. What is even happening? 14th pick channel. Come on. Come on. For those of you watching on YouTube... Definitely be sure to check out the HelloFresh link down below. And uh, you can use the promo code that is on the screen, P-O-G-H-F-29324, I believe. Uh, make sure to double check that. And uh, you can get 21 free meals along with free shipping on your first eight boxes. So it comes out to roughly three free meals per box or around 30 bucks free. So I ordered about $60 worth of food and it came out to about $28. And that'll be here Saturday. So it's about 50% off. And like then it comes to like $5 a meal, which is actually a pretty sick deal. HelloFresh is also super, super good. And cooking stuff is fun. And the meals I got, I got the sheet pan Monterey Jack unfried chicken. I got this sweet corn and green pepper chowder. And I got this Tuscan chicken and kale spaghetti, all of which look very good. And they tell you how, how long it takes to cook. Tells you if they're vegan or vegetarian. Uh, you can add different things to them. So, got about six meals. Cost me about 28 bucks. Really good deal. And for like your first eight orders, you'll get about 50% off, up, up until you get 21 free meals, basically. So that's pretty sweet, and it's a great way to support the channel if you guys are looking for a way to do that. This is 25 cards. What's our Emrakul plan? Do we have one? Shallow Grave, I guess? Colcon's Command Shallow Grave? Thirst for Discovery Shallow Grave? Putrid Imp Shallow Grave. Putrid Imp is actually... A shockingly relevant part of our game plan right now. I'm going to cut the damnation. Because I don't think we're damnating. I guess we can also just be like Mana Crypt, Signet, Power Stone, Basalt Monolith. Yeah, because we have two Signets and these two and Mana Crypt, I'm just going to play 16 lands. Don't think we're playing Chrome Mox. And this is definitely light red, I think. Yeah. So it's like two red cards. That's pretty good. 
I want to challenge HelloFresh to a cook-off. Well, HelloFresh doesn't do the cooking. They send you the fresh ingredients, and then you do the cooking. Um, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, three, four, five. Three, four, five, six. That's weird. I have so much more blue. Cut two of these, add two of these. So four, five, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And then two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, five. Plus we have a signet of each. Both of which are red. Yeah, that seems fine. Save and continue. Oh God, I got a planes in there. Oh God, why? Okay, so I can add one more swamp in. What? Oh, for the stupid Yorion. God, that's so terrible. How is that still a thing you do? <laughs> Thank you for that. Good catch, good catch. Also grief is, uh, enters the battlefield, you choose a non-land card from it, they discard it. So basically thought sees. On a 3-2 menace guy that could be uh, evoked. <sighs> yeah, the whole cycle is is very good. You might say overly good. And now we wait. Oh, I have been paired. Wonderful. Brilliant. Oh yeah. Turn one ancestral, Psh, all my colors, Psh, perfect. Good luck, have fun. No you. All right. Pop that guy out. Pop the graveyards out. Make it beautiful. Oh, that guy's good. But he's going to get pushed. We're going to push him. Not going to let you untap. <laughs> yeah, gotta put that dude in the trash can. That guy would have been great. That guy would have been a great pickup for us. But also so would have uh, some more reanimate cards. Oh, good morning from Germany. What up, Germany? You are significantly ahead of me. Probably six hours. Let's check. Germany time. Seven, eight hours. Oh, yeah, you would have been six hours if I was on the East Coast still. So being... What did they exile? They exiled a Shieldred to cast a Grief to get rid of my Basalt Monolith. That's an interesting two for one, for sure. 7 a.m. That's wild. Time zones are so wild to me, man. Oh boy. Okay, so we're just they're just doing the same thing as me. Uh, we'll play this because they know about it. All right, let's see what you discard and reanimate. Putrid Imp, man. Doing the Lord's work. Yep. I had a feeling it was going to be Liliana. I'm going to discard Island here because I really don't... We don't have anything to reanimate and I don't trust them to not reanimate if they're playing Putrid Imp, so... I really don't want to give them a big fat target. I'm going to assume we're going to draw Mana Crypt. Oh, okay, that's not bad. Mm, that's not bad. Hmm, interesting. 
So we'll go land. Oh, we got to Oh, we got to draw another card. Scarab God, that's pretty good. I kind of want to just play Scarab God here. But if we play Is It Signet, oh, we can actually go Is It Signet animate dead their grief. And then it puts us in a position to play Inferno Titan next turn. Kind of like that. And then we can Yori on the Inferno Titan as well. Show me what you've got. Hemrical and Custody Lich. Fascinating. You can't cast Custody Lich right now. Can't cast Emrakul either, though. But you do have Putrid Imp, so if you had, like, Emrakul, you could discard it, play Shallow Grave. It has to be exactly Shallow Grave, right? Yeah, let's get rid of the Lich. <laughs> I mean, that's a playable card. Sack a creature, this guy. So you know you have Emrakul on one other card. I don't know what that progenitus was. Play land. One, two, three, four, five, six. Inferno, and next turn we get to... Uh, if we hit a land... Yeah, this is pretty good. Inferno Titan's a hell of a drug. Enter the battlefield effect. Um... Nothing, huh? Okay. <laughs> uh, we'll take the Emrakul, I guess. I don't know. That doesn't seem... So they're dead on board. And we know they have Progenitus in hand. That should be the game. Okie dokie. Oral, we're doing it. I don't really know what to board in here, to be honest. It looks like they have Emrakul and Progenitus. So I'm assuming they are... <coughs> you know what? I don't even know. Got a mulligan. Mm, it's not great, but it's not terrible. Put the Titan back. I want to keep Archon so we can discard it if we need to. Because if we get like Shallow Grave here, it's actually not terrible. Yeah, look how much faster everything responds now after you restart. Yeah, kind of like that. Get in there. It's always worth remembering that this guy cannot fly. Fascinating. I don't really want this guy to flip. So I think we're just going to thirst here. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's just basic land. We have a discard outlet, so we don't need to throw two cards away. 
Plus, I don't really want to have cards just sitting in the graveyard. I, I agree, he is actively flying in the picture. Trust me, you are preaching to the choir, my friend. Uh, yeah, so I have a feeling they're going to get rid of something and reanimate that thing. And if they do that, we're going to discard. We're just going to Phantasmal Image and copy it, I guess. Okay, sounds good. That's a weird two for one, but all right. I mean, they're probably just going to discard their own thing now, right? No, they discarded a swamp. Beautiful. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is very fascinating. Beautiful. Supreme flickering. Well, I can't block this guy, so God, I think suspicious so it is such a great upgrade from Luteril Core. Reanimate Hullbreaker Horror. That's a gentleman. Heads. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We are one mana away from Archon of Cruelty-ing. That's sad. Uh... Well, they can't return lands. Hmm. No attack, huh? That's interesting. So next turn we get to play Archon, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That seems good. Uh, good times. Why didn't you attack again? I don't know. That's interesting. Yep, that's unfortunate. Unless we can draw Shallow Grave. Heads. Oh man, I'm so good at it. Black Cleave Cliffs. Pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so we're I'm not sure if we're gonna make it to that plan, unfortunately. Live the dream. So 
So we take nine, we go to seven. God, drawing, God, this freaking suspicious stowaway is so good. <sighs> Fantastic. <laughs> oh, interesting. Weird, weird. Why would, like, hmm. Why not make me sacrifice that? Oh, I lost the flip because everything is, everything is terrible. Yep, cool. We're dead. <laughs> wow, must must be nice to cast fourteen griefs. I guess. What does braids even do? Do each of those series our fair creature has them? They get to choose. I don't care about that. And I have grief. Can I get my grief? Good grief. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this in. Turn two fiend into turn three basalt monolith, possibly. Uh, did I say grief? I meant fiend. Who knows what I said? You know, they mulligan to five. They gotta keep. You can't, you can't just go to four. They went to four. I don't understand. Oh, boy. That's fascinating. Yeah. Mesmeric Fiend, Grief, and Kolagon's Command. Actually, don't forget Mesmeric Fiend. Oh, really? Well, I guess I couldn't play that last turn anyway, so... Um, we need another land, like quite quite badly. I think we just take stowaway for now, because if we don't hit a land, I don't want them to get back into the game with stowaway. Okay, they don't have swift end and murderous rider. Okay, they just have the two. Let's not be ridiculous. Wonder what they got. Island? No. Oof. See, this is kind of what I was afraid of. I'm sure they got a kill spell so they can play. Yeah, that's what I figured. Just need one land. Thank you. Do, 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 do. Make them discard and shooty shoot shoot. You shoot. Uh, Living that dream. And we, they have one card now. <laughs> so in theory, we should be in good shape. And we got this Ancestral that's about to pop off eventually. One, two, three. Basalt Mani. Um, we can actually play... No, we can't. We can play Grief. I mean, it's, it's what we can do, you know? Two, three. Mana Crypt? Oh, we're taking the Mana Crypt for sure. I mean, Shriek Maw is cool and all, but these two are black. Inferno Titan, we can get back with Shallow Grave and probably kill them.
That's cute. Yeah, let's get some cards. Specifically four. Oh, we just won the game. What were we drawing? One? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Just breaks. Well, all right, cool. <laughs> And then I have to close that and hit play match. All right, wonderful. It's a good system. What can you do? Oh, yeah, we're keeping this. Snap it off. Got all the colors. We have the Shallow Grave and the Emrakul. Give me that putrid imp or that thirst, I guess. Thirst would be good. That's cute. I like it. It's very cute. Pop this out so we know. I just like knowing how many how many counters we got left. He Inquisition. Oh, so long, Shallow Grave, I guess. That's the end of that. And the dream is dead. That's okay. Wishclaw Talisman. I'm fascinated by everything that's happening here. Can't do anything, right? No. No, we cannot. The, the dream is dying. Man, didn't Rob sing The Dream is Dying? Is that what that's from? Nothing, huh? Is this only used as a sorcery? Actually, only during your turn. So kind of, you can use it during your own end step or during your upkeep. That was an interesting draw. I think we just play Yorion, right? Never super exciting, but <laughs> still a 4 5 flyer. If only we had one more red, we could have played in front of Titan. It's our own fault. We asked for this. They have three cards. Next turn, we get to draw an extra three, which is nice. Probe and Wishclaw Talisman do strike me as a storm deck. But now we get the Wishclaw Talisman. Ooh, fancy. Is Yorian? Yorian is the main deck, yes. Interesting. I'm going to say heads. Oh, yeah. Michael B. would have said heads, you know? So I wanted to... I wanted to honor him. Still no additional... God, what can we get with this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Assuming they got something degenerate. Uh, let's see. Rectus, Basalt, Coligon's Command. We can get Grief. That's actually not bad. Does Putridimp actually just let us go off? No. But kind of? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is five. We want nine for that guy to be fully effective. So we can actually go get a Putridimp, play a Putridimp, discard an Emrakul, and then reanimate at the end of their next turn. But Emrakul can't be... It's pro, He's got protection from spells that are one or more colors. Right? That's not terrible. I 
I also just kind of like getting grief here. But we need a discard outlet. I can actually... Eh. Is it just grief? Oh my god, my boy Ollie and Trozzi's giving me that raid. Oh my god, what a what a saint. What an actual saint. Dude, it's like 2 a.m. over there. He's up late. So one, two, three. We wouldn't have enough mana. It's gotta be Petron Ember, right? That seems correct. Bzoo. Oh my god. What up, everybody? If you're coming over from from the Eldrazi himself. They're like, wow, he got a putrid imp. That's a terrible choice. What could he possibly have? I'll never tell. Wishclaw Talisman is an interesting card. I I have rarely played it or activated it. Usually if you activate it, you want to win with it so your opponent doesn't also get an activation. But, you know, sometimes you just... Dark Ritual. Could be dead. Who knows? So they got Dark Ritual, four other cards that we don't know about. Storm is a wild... Storm is a wild animal. There's the Dark Ritual. Okay. See you later. That's true. Sometimes you risk it and then your opponent's like... I'll get a wish. I'll get a putrid imp. I mean, they have to win here, right? Or else we go Emrakul. I mean, they get. They guess they can counter it. What do I know? And second activation. It's funny that I gain control of it even though it has no wish counters. And they're like, here, you can have this this piece of shit. <laughs> oh, okay, thanks. Here, I got you this junk. Well, so... The amount of time they're taking makes me think this is not a super easy decision. Yep, they're really taking their time here. Yep, still taking taking the time. <laughs> yeah, this is interesting. Like they have five six total mana. They could time spiral. Here, you throw this away. Here, I got you this piece of trash. Put it in the garbage can for me. Oh yeah, being able to discard Emrakul at instant speed to prevent their brain freeze is also pretty solid. Oh look, I got it back. Look at that. All right, Yog Moth's will. So they can go Dark Ritual, Mystical Probe. That's pretty good. Do we have anything that can? No, not really. Get that ritual. Beautiful. Big Stormin. Big Stormin Norman here. Yeah, I know it. I know it's in the exile zone. Thank you. Okay, well. We are at the mercy of whatever they can do. So, mm, yep, Mystical Tutor, you got it. Man, that probe in the graveyard is gonna do some heavy lifting when they're able to just draw whatever they... I mean, I don't think they're anywhere close to a Tendrils. 
Okay. Here we go. <laughs> I'm in danger. We'll see. Remember when we were playing Magic and not just watching someone play Solitaire? I do remember that. I do remember that. Those were the days. God, can you imagine? Is it? Is it? Oh my god, it is Brain Freeze. What did they reveal that to? Oh, they revealed it to the... Oh, that's what they got with Mystical Tutor? Oh, wow. That's hilarious. The nice thing is we can still reanimate. Um, uh, sure, you're going to have a fatal push. Um, we can still reanimate Emrakul because we discard it. The trigger goes on the stack, and then we reanimate it. And so our, our graveyard still shuffles. But we just get to keep Emrakul in play. So that's kind of cool. So how many is this? A thousand? A million? Two million? <laughs> Okie dokie. So seven, 21 cards, we'll have three cards left. Sure. One. A two. Three. Four. Five. You get to see my whole deck, though. That's okay. Okay. <laughs> we win the game. Sounds good. All right. What a beautiful, beautiful nonsense. I'm going to take Fatal Push out and bring in Dire Fleet Daredevil. That was just wonderful. Just wonderful. Um, let's bring in Tendrils of Agony. That's probably it, really. I mean... Artifact, creature, or land. That doesn't do anything we care about. We don't need Choops, actually, and Fatal Push is probably better because it kills all like the two mana creatures that they might be playing. That's probably all I care about, to be honest. Well, unfortunately, Tendrils is a sorcery, so the odds of them going off on our turn and then letting us cast Tendrils is low. And they're, I mean, if even if they did, did it during our turn, it's most likely going to be during the end step. So... Yeah, I I, I tutored for one card and it was Putrid Imp, and it was actually the the Emrakul tech. So that's pretty cool. No. <laughs> Good point, Nick. Good point. I hadn't I had not considered that. Uh this is a shipper. I don't like it. Oh, I like this better. That's a snapperino. I'll I'll ship a swamp. Having just just having Emrakul in your deck against the uh the storm deck is pretty wild. And honestly, I'm almost tempted to play Mana Crypt here because they do have Inquisition. I think we can give it a turn, though. If they're not going to... Sure. Watch them get Inquisition. That makes me really silly. I got to put some nuggies in the air for Ryder. <laughs> yeah, I was playing 4D chess and they were playing checkers. So, oh, mana drain, huh? Oh, yeah, you smart. 
You got it. Get that Colagon's command. Oh, Warm Power Stone. I like that. One, two, three, four. This is this a seven mana next turn? I mean, they're going to have uh, mana drain up for the rest of the time. But we have several discard spells, don't we? Heads. Definitely heads. You stupid idiot. I think we just Dire Fleet Daredevil here. I think we actually should have Yorion and then Dire Fleet. No, we want to play the, the thing this turn, right? So... Let's see what we can... I mean, if you want to counter this for two, that's totally fine. I don't think we can tutor for a discard spell. I think we just have Grief and Colagon's Command. That's fine. <laughs> that's actually kind of what I wanted you to do. Now I wish I had the stupid blue for the Yorion, but... What's, what's four damage among friends, you know? What? You're targeting me? You're targeting yourself. Fascinating. I don't understand. I, I'm very confused. I mean, maybe you're gonna... I can't be right. <laughs> There's no way that's right, right? I don't know what's going on. Papa's confused. They have two cards in hand. So what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Yogmoth is three. You did hit a Dark Ritual, which is not terrible. But like, we have Emrakul in our deck. So if, you, if, if Brain Freeze is your win con, explain it to me. So they did have Yogmoth, <laughs> like you do. You got it. That's a blank. That's what I call a blizzank. So what, you got five mana left. You can play tutor, and then thirst, and you have one. Oh, you can play this tutor, and this tutor, and brain for, I, I don't know, I have Emrakul in my deck, so like, seems good. <clears throat> I mean, I guess they could Demonic Tutor for Thassa's Oracle and then Brain Freeze themselves. That would be pretty good. I'd be impressed by that. That's got to be what they're doing, right? But they're one mana shy now? Dothy Voidwalker. Okay, but now they have three black and not enough blue to go Brain Freeze Thassa's Oracle, so I don't understand that. Tendrils? For 14, I go to three. It's gotta be tendrils, right? And then they're gonna try to win off the... They're targeting me now. I'm very confused. What does this what does this mean? What's going on? Oh, because of this guy. Oh, that's very good. I forgot. I literally forgot what that guy does. That's fascinating. Heads. One. Okay. Well, that does change some things. Awkwardly enough. Choose an exile card, you may play it without paying its mana cost. Oh, fascinating. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh, boy. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's, that's a thing. Did they just win? This is wild. What do they do? They just sacrifice it, play Emrakul? You play it this turn without paying. So they play Emrakul, and then we die. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Wow, Dothy Voidwalker. What a little shit. Interesting. Okay. Dothy Voidwalker and Storm. Wow. I'm impressed. It definitely gets around Emrakul. Which they hit. <sighs> boy, oh boy. I was like, wait, what's going on? For a second, I thought it was like, because all the cards were getting going to the graveyard, I thought it was like Magic Online's way of being like, do you want to put them in a specific order or do you want them to just go randomly? Because you know it asks you that. Oh, uh, this is a keeper. Um, <clears throat> but then I realized, wait, each trigger would resolve individually, so that's not what it is. I don't even know if that's sideboard tech. You might just put that in the main deck. Like, brain freezing them, like, and getting to, like, even if you don't win, like, you still get to play one of their cards, which is pretty good, and the cards get exiled, so, like, there's so many cards that, like, you could get out of their, they could, like, they could interact within the graveyard, or if they have, like, other Eldrazi, like, that's, that's main deckable, as far as I'm concerned. Not in love with second turn Ancestral, but what can you do? Also going to take a moment to let you guys know about HelloFresh. They are a sponsor of the stream for the next two weeks or so. Um, right now with the promo code above, you can get 21 free meals. It's about three meals off for your first eight boxes and free shipping. So I ordered six meals for me and Katie and it came to about 28 bucks. It's a pretty good deal for six full meals. Um, so like $5 a meal. So it's, it's a great offer and it'll, you know, it'll last throughout the first eight boxes at least if you're getting only like six or so meals. That's a good hit. So yeah, and also it's a great way to support the channel too. So you get something out of it. You spend about 30 bucks. I get a kickback because it's a sponsor of the stream and uh, you get tasty food out of it as well. Uh, the ones I picked that are going to be here Saturday, I showed off a couple times. A sheet pan Monterey Jack unfried chicken, some sweet corn and green pepper chowder and some Tuscan chicken and kale spaghetti. So I got two servings of each, one for me, one for Katie. And uh, it was only like 28 bucks. $10 for a meal for two is pretty good. So check out HelloFresh. Use that promo code up in that little uh, little banner up in the top. It's also down in the description below. So check that out and uh, help your boy out. Get that food. Okay, so they charted a course, they get taxi and probe, they mull drifted, and now we're gonna say heads. Really not not thrilled with, with that. That's that's unacceptable. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, if we had a second red. You get to draw two. What are you guys saying right now? What's going on? How likely are we? I mean, we have like six red sources in the deck. Se six left, rather. This is the seventh red source, so. Yep, you got it. Animate dead. Enjoy.
Heads. Gonna be heads again. Don't, don't, don't. Oh, thank God. Oh, well, that's good. Uh, one, two, three. Maybe I'll just win with a creeping tar pit. Four turn clock. What's it going to be? My guess is Yawgmoth's will. Oh, it's a brainstorm. For some reason, I thought it was Mystical Tear. So you don't get to choose, I guess. This is nice with Polluted Delta, though. A classic, classic interaction. I do not have Brainstorm in my own cube because I just think it doesn't do enough on its own. It's kind of like an unfun, like, oh, if I don't have a fetch land or a way to shuffle, I'm just, like, locking myself out. and It's one activation of a, of a Sylvan Library if you don't have a fetch. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. It's just better to play this. Probably. But what if they have Mana Drain? Do they have Mana Drain? Was this the Mana Drain deck? I think it might have been. Fudge. Fudge McMudge. I guess I'm not sure if Yorian even does anything here that I mean next turn we get to draw three presumably unless they just go ham this turn factor fiction thirst sure I feel bad about this match I, I feel like we're not where we want to be. Oh my God, Emma, I didn't even see your raid. Oh my God. I feel so bad. I'm so sorry. Oh, goodness gracious. Emma, if you ever see this, I appreciate you. Okay, Vampiric Tutor. Okay. It's not a great sign, no. <laughs> it's, it's not ideal. Oh yeah, this is how it starts. Sometimes you just feel bad, you know? Oh, Memory Jar. Oh, wow. That's it? That's what you have done. Okay. Do you think they have mana drain here and they're gonna mana drain my ancestral? They did not. Heads. Dang it. Dang it. Oh. Oh, that's what actually we were hoping to draw. Oh goodness. I got the vapors. Uh, destroy an artifact. Do we deal two to them and put them to four? No, I don't think that does anything. Cast. You can use it now. Give me that sweet five mana. Yes. Excellent. No, they did have the mana drain. Come on. Come on, dude. <sighs> oh, always a pleasure, magic. Never fails. Well. I 
I mean, to be fair, they might not have a win condition other than brain freeze. I mean, I did this because Scarab God still forces lethal with Grieving Tarpit. However, it does give them more life to play with, but I'm not sure how relevant that is. I guess, like, they'd have to play Vampiric Tutor and Polluted Delta, but they don't have to play Delta, they can just play Island. So, like, yeah, this is... Um, yeah, so we wouldn't be able to... We could Shallow Grave and get nothing back, so... This is interesting because they can't get Emrakul. And once we discard, we shuffle at least three cards back into our deck. So even if they void our entire deck, we still get our hand back along with the three cards in our graveyard. No, this is actually good because we're not going to draw a card until our draw step. But at the end of the turn, we discard this hand. So all of these cards and these will get shuffled in. So it's kind of like 10 card protection. So I don't know. We're kind of at the mercy of whatever they can do. <laughs> you know, because Storm, that's how it works. No, even if they Voidwalker, the cards we discard, right? Is that how that works? Fuck, I don't think so, actually. Voidwalker prevents these from going to the graveyard. Yeah, you're right. Ah, shit. Did they just get Voidwalker here? Ah, shit. <laughs> Let me read Voidwalker. If a card would put into one is greater from anywhere instead of exile it with a void counter on it. Yes. That does it. Damn it. That card's very good. Cabal Ritual, sure. <sighs> Grief does not have flash, no. Solitude and Endurance have Flash. Fury does not have Flash. Does Subtlety have Flash? Maybe. Let's find out. Yes, Subtlety has Flash. So the only ones that don't have Flash are Fury and Grief. There it is. There's the little biscuit. Cool. It's so fucking annoying. Pretty sure there's nothing I can do here. So even if I hit them with Tarpet, they'd go to one and there's nothing we can really do. But they don't need to do anything off Dothy. You know what I mean? Like, they just... Is there any creatures in any graveyards? Mole Drifter. Ugh. Jesus. <laughs> so we have to draw a card here, huh? That's unfortunate. I cannot make four zombies. Unfortunately, uh, I can mull drifter and kill myself early. Ugh, God. 
I can't attack. I, I Once I draw a card, I lose the game. I have zero cards in my library. Yeah, there's nothing we can do here. Because even Inferno Titan only deals three and it puts him to one. And we have no cards in our library. So, okay. Yep, that's... That's game. Oh, boy. Always a pleasure, Storm. Always good times. Yep. I mean, if they don't have Mana Drain, they don't win. If they don't have Dothy Voidwalker, they don't win. So... We cannot, unfortunately, wish, 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 wish for more cards, Selena Gomez Prime. Good seeing you, buddy. It is currently snowing here, and I think it will be until 8 a.m. If they don't have magic cards, they don't win. Unfortunately, they always have magic cards. I will play first because me, me no dum dum. We can go turn three, Colagon's command, discard our own Archon, and then makeshift that shit back. Or we can just wait for our opponent. Oh, there we go. They did it. I got a yo, Frank. Good luck in the chat. That's always, that's always nice. So now we can Kolagon's Command kill this guy and discard our Archon. It always feels bad discarding with, like, Kolagon's Command for some reason, because I feel like you can do that to your opponent, as opposed to, like, Putrid Imp, because it has no other option, right? I feel like I'm not doing something detrimental to my opponent, because I want to do a combo thing. So it just feels worse. I kind of want to kill that more, right? Cast, discard, two damage. Target player, discard, kill this thing. Red, black, blue. Discard Archon. You beautiful baby. I'm not sure what a mono green deck can do against this. But I'm sure we'll find out. Question. Have you considered killing them with kindness? Ask them nicely if they'll just concede. It's a solid strategy. You never draw two red sources when you have mana rocks and inferno titan. Peepo said... <laughs> Uh, search library for a land card. They got a mountain. Okay. Mountain can still not disrupt our graveyard effectively. Oh, roughly. Look, now we got the red sources. This is an ETB, right? Of course it is. That's why we're doing it now, because... Less mana, you know? Fewer... Will be the fucking game. Didn't even know endurance was in the cube. 
Really weird inclusion. That's insane. That's... That's kind of ridiculous. Oh, I actually had the Larry David show music on the soundboard and I got copyrighted for it. Copy, copyright, copyright stricken, struck. Oh, good. Minskin boo. Cool. That's going to go well. Jesus Christ. What a fucking beating. Where's the damnation when you need it? And I'm just going to draw four cards this turn. Copy Roten. Yeah, that sounds correct. Do you can you please concede? So listen, I came back to the computer and found out my brother was playing on my MTGO account. That wasn't me just now that lost this game. Please, bro. <laughs> I don't see why that wouldn't work. What could possibly go wrong? Yes. Wonderful. This card is fucking disgusting. I could not think of a, a, a way this game could actually go any worse. <laughs> like, I'm just like flabbergasted. They have to have endurance. They have to have Minsk and Boo to draw four cards. I'm just like... I don't know, man. This is why this has been a wild ride. Down here, salt is a way of life. Yes, perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You have exactly enough. Wonderful. Love it. Make sure you. Yeah. Oh, good. Thank God. I was really hoping I, I, I wouldn't be able to untap and play Consecrated Sphinx. I'm sure you're just getting one fall primus. Maybe just get progenitus. <laughs> Maybe that's the play. Oh dear God. Well, damnation is definitely coming in, in case it wasn't clear. We'll definitely be damnating. I also miss Jazz. Oh, you just got the card that was on top. That's fascinating. Oh, good, a coma on top that you can't cast. There you go. There you go. Do you have anything I can get that I care about? Hmm. No. I guess not. Hey, that's not bad, right? I don't know if it's bad or not, to be honest with you. <laughs> I, I can't tell anymore. Let's get rid of this guy. Yeah. Woodfall Primus, huh? And this guy puts three counters, and they get Trample and or Haste. So you're going to draw Coma. They got Wall of Roots. Coma Roots. And I'm sure you have another blue source in your hand. Since you're not playing music, I'm actually listening. Just see, you can just listen to whatever you want. Everyone played a game and everyone had a good time, buddy. Nailed it. Who's the counters going on? Oh, the little, little shitter himself. So they have three cards. We know one of them. Ah. <sighs> Okay. 
That's a big that's a big boy. I kinda wanna block with choops and then like I don't know, kill something. These chicken nuggets are exactly I needed in my life. That's that's not English. Wow, this is wild. So two, so we block here and here. We take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess that's a thing. Going to two? What could go wrong? Yeah, that, I, yeah, that didn't seem like a great idea. You know what I meant. I did. I did. I was doing a little trolley. Oh boy. Well, we're just going to concede here. This is not ideal. Uh, okay, so Damnation can come in almost immediately. Fucking unbelievable. They had Endurance. That's absolutely flabbergasting to me, man. Just take Emrakul out, I guess. Like, that's so unreal. Like, it just had to be in your hand at that moment with, like, four cards. I don't know, man. I mean, I'll, I'll get over it one day, right? Like, one day I'll wake up and I'll be like, it doesn't bother me anymore. But not today. It's probably Portuguese, yeah. I also can't believe not one of you has signed up for HelloFresh. That's unbelievable to me. Out of all these people, not one of you wants tasty, delicious meals for cheap. Shocking. Shocked. Maybe the YouTubers will come through. We'll see. Did you sign up? Did you use my code? I feel like it should have went through, you know? I appreciate you. Wouldn't be the first time someone was flabbergasted by my endurance. I don't even know what that means. I will play first. Ooh, beautiful. Keep it. Snap, keep it. So I'm sure they're going to, like, destroy this with something, and then they'll play. They'll play Mono Green Teferi to prevent me from resolving an Ancestral. It means when two people love each other very much. What did I have for dinner? I made lemon chicken with potatoes and peas. It's very good. And Katie's like, this is my favorite meal you make. And I was like, thank you. Appreciate it. It's actually a recipe my mom used to make. <clears throat> like you bake the, you bread the chicken and then you like you marinate in like lemon juice, vinegar, olive oil, and some spices. And then you bread it and then you cook it in the oven. You bake it, I guess you want to say, uh, with, with potatoes. And you add peas at the last 10 minutes and it's very good. Oh, dear Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, you know, Oh, boy. All right, so they got five manas. You, ever, you guys ever call them manas? Is this the same opponent? Yes, it's the one that played Coma and Natural Order 
and would fall Primus. Okay. <clears throat> Wall of Rudy Tooties. It's better just Mesmeric Fiend here. One, two, probably. Three, four, five. They're gonna have six mana, seven if they play a land. YOLO. If Mesmeric Fiending this turn means I can't Consecrate its Sphinx next turn, I don't want any part of that. Will it cost me the game? Possibly. Will it lead to a more fun time? Definitely. So, you know. Oh good, a scavenging goose. A Garrick, huh? So next turn we get to draw the cards, is what you're saying to me. Let's just play this fat fat daddy. That's what we wanted to do, right? So we're gonna draw three from this, one for the turn, that's seven, two from Sphinx, that's nine. Which means we have to play a black mana, a fatal push. Maybe it choops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're close to Wulmog, surprisingly. I get seven. I wonder if this HelloFresh should be at the right side of the screen. Is that going to be better? What do you think? Hey, man, when it comes to your play points and tickets, I'm all about having a good time. <laughs> Nick, I appreciate that, buddy. I appreciate you being willing to... To use my tickets and play points in such a way. Oh my god, I hate Minsk and Boost so much. It's such a good card. Although we do have Consecrated Sphinx, right? So that's interesting. Oh my god, they have black mana now? Jesus, what is even happening? Sure. None of these cards have Reach and Consecrated Sphinx has Flying. So I can kill Minsk and Boo, as far as I can tell. Come on, one swamp is all I want, thank you. And a Kolagon's Command. Um, oh, we can actually Fatal Push Kolagon's Command, so that's pretty good. We're definitely playing this. So let's get rid of Minskarino. Cast, uh, destroy an artifact and deal two damage. So one, two, three, four. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I'll take two more cards. Uh, yep. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we could have thirsted. Dang it. I forgot we had one floating. Um, what do we have? Nine, eight cards? That's not even that bad. Black Leaf Cliffs and Lava Claw Reaches are both going to come into play tapped, so might as well get rid of the. Yeah, no thirst? No, I'm not that smart. Oh, Inferno Titan? Let's do that. So now they have five mana, which is great. Six mana. 
And two cards? Yeah, we're feeling way ahead right now. Yep, that guy's good. I'm a fan. I feel like we're doing I feel like we're doing well though. Inferno Titan just actually kills anything on the board. <laughs> Three or more creatures with different powers, which they do. Yorion. What's that do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll have eight mana. So we can actually Mesmeric Fiend and Inferno Titan here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's take Elder Gargroth. <laughs> All right. Well, let's kill Garrick. So they can't ultimate. This game feels much better for us. Uh, you know what? Sure. I'm not driving, so I'll draw two more. Oh, no attacks. Fascinating. I think this game is probably over. I mean, I got the squad over here, you know? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we'll have nine mana, so we can actually Chupacabra and then Yorion to kill a bunch of stuff. Yeah, let's do that. Is there anything we want to animate dead? Not really. Do we have an easy way to discard? We could thirst for knowledge, discard Ulamog, shallow grave Ulamog. Hmm. That could, that's a thing. Tell him he can channel endurance now. God, I don't even want to draw anymore to be honest. Uh, but yes, I do. Archon of Cruelty. We're just casting that, dude. So we can go Archon of Cruelty and play Lava Claw Reaches. This guy draws us a card, right? Jesus. I don't think we're going to be able to untap, I'll be honest. They're probably going to... They're probably going to end it. Target creature control fights a creature you don't control. That's good. That's beautiful. Okay, so easy choice there. One, two, three, four, five. Enter the battlefield effect. I'm telling you, I'm a fan of Eureka. They discarded Woodfall Primus, which we can now animate in the future. <clears throat> so we know they have Elder Gargaroth in hand. 
and we are going to have to discard quite a bit. Uh, let's get rid of Thirst. Island. Swamp. Probably Damnation. <laughs> that feels correct. I'm not going to draw any further. I feel like we're way ahead and I don't... Yeah, that was that was a game. That was a game. Actually, Steel Seraph could be interesting. But I don't think we need it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really think we need anything else here. There's nothing else that's really great for our deck. God, that Endurance, though. What a beating. Chrome Mox. I already have Mana Crypt and two Signets and a Basalt and a Warren Power Stone. I worry about diluting our our threat density too too much. So last round, last game rather, Oh, do I like? Yeah, I think we want to Ancestral on turn one. Because we don't have anything to do on turn two, and if we do, we can still swamp it. Yeah, that just seems good. What the fuck? What is happening? <coughs> I'm so confused by this deck. I'm so confused. Makeshift mannequin. Yep, play this. What a Mutual Planeswalker card look like? That's a good question. And I have no idea. He would probably... Michael's been going to the gym a lot. Like, every day. His... His, his consistency has definitely been impressive. Jesus, this is wild, man. So frustrating. <laughs> oh god, make another beast, add seven, eleven mana. Kill your creeping tarpit with my woodfall promise. This is such a Ugh God. Dude, we have so many two and three drops, and it's like kind of frustrating that like we don't have any of them. So there's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. Let's top deck damnation. That would be just beautiful. a lot of things man fatal push <laughs> that, 
Oh, that was pretty good. Oh. God, this is so stupid, dude. Oral, I'm so sorry for our one, two. <laughs> like, we kill this, we take five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, we go to three. Like, I don't actually envision a situation where we win this game. Like, this is so dumb. Like, like we have Fiend, Phantasmal Image, Signet, Signet, Basalt, Power Stone, Colagon's Command. Like, we have a ton of two and three cards that, that actually do stuff, but we just don't draw any of them. Have to kill something. Go to three. Michael is sleeping because it is 1 a.m. and he works in the morning. Oh, good, we get to draw cards. See, the sad thing is, even if we Damnation now, we still lose to this Thrag Tusk. So there's probably nothing we can draw because of Thrag Tusk and us being at exactly three. That actually does anything. Mana Crypt, especially. <sighs> Disgusting. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check out HelloFresh if you want to support the channel and a great way to do that. Get some delicious food. Use the promo code down in the link below or up in the banner and uh, make sure to follow the link as well. You will get 21 free meals over the course of your first eight boxes along with free shipping. It's a really good deal. Um, even if you just want to try them out and get a few free meals out of it uh, or pay five about $5 a meal, which is pretty, pretty solid. Uh, yeah, Oral, thank you for the stipulation. Really appreciate it, buddy. Uh, unfortunately... Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate y'all. I'll see you next time.